Right side with Watson, looking down low for Roby. And this is a big matchup we'll be watching. Roby down low versus Gilbeck, and Roby wins battle number one. Even on that all day long. Here's Isaac Johnson. Swings it around, three ball up on the way for Duff, and he got it. Been in a lot of close games. It's a close one early. Driving inside in the lane with the left hand. Tough shot, no good. Offensive rebound up and in. Count the basket for Brandon Gilbeck. Huskers leading the score, backing down. Kick out for Roby instead. Roby gets by his man and slams it home. Isaiah Roby right around Gilbeck and finishes with a slam. Right wing Johnson feeds it inside to Webster. Now back out, Johnson open for three. Instead, he'll drive it up the left hand and gets the roll. In Illinois working with a three-point lead. Feeding down inside to Gilbeck, working against Isaiah Roby. Can Gilbeck win this round? He can with the right hook. It's 9-4. to four. Watson with it, going inside. Kick out to Palmer, who goes inside. Up and under and in for James Palmer, Jr. Texas Tech, they were 13 of 21. Tim Miles could not have been happy with that after that game. Pyle goes inside. He finishes over Roby, and the scoring drought is over. It was seven minutes and 50 seconds long. I think he just got a little excited there. He got the steal from Roby and just kind of went for it. Palmer the other direction finishes at the rack. Palmer coast to coast. And quite the swing there. It's 19-11, Big Red. Some light pressure applied by the Cornhuskers. Western Illinois breaks it. A deep jumper on the way from Webster is blocked by Amir Harris. And then another block down low by Brady Hyman. The nation's leader in blocks per game. Hyman with it, now Palmer. Palmer goes inside, nice take to the dish, and Palmer scores. He's nowhere close, doesn't have any. Watson goes inside, tough shot, but he gets the friendly roll. Webster's got it, looking to go inside, tried to feed it to Young, it's stolen away. Watson's got it, back to Allen, right back to Watson, left corner, three ball, rattles it home. The first three of the game for Nebraska. Down low for Borkart. He's a low down inside, goes up with a hook shot, gets the very friendly roll. Tanner Borkart, he finishes as well. Everything going right for Nebraska. Allen, now Copeland. Good feed from the moving Palmer who goes up and he finishes at the rack. Count the basket and one. Back and forth we go. It's a track meet at PBA. Watson pull up three. He got it. 9% for Nebraska, 22% for Western Illinois. Allen goes inside, shot is up, and he finishes right around Webster. And now a steal from Duff. Coming the other direction, going against everybody by himself, and he can't finish. It was one on three, and the shot was blocked. It's exactly why they need him on the court against this Nebraska team leading the country in blocks. Nice feet down low to Gilbeck and on a terrific pass from Pyle. Down inside Gilbeck over Roby. No good. Allen's get, got the rebound. Nebraska in transition. It's Palmer. Goes up and a huge rejection by Brandon Gilbeck. There he is again. Duff goes inside against Copeland. Lost it for a moment. Finds Osio Sufe inside. And a good feed up and in for James Clare, the redshirt junior. And Thomas Allen comes away with it. Up ahead to Hyman. All alone underneath, and he will get his easiest make of the night. And inside, and kicks it back out with Montague. Plenty of time. Deep three on the way, and it's Bjor. How about that shot from Keyshawn Montague? West Illinois is leading this half by a point. As Pyle goes inside, up and under, and in. Nifty move from Ben Pyle. Just a freshman. Foul trouble most of the game has had quite the effect on this one. Maybe it'd be much closer if that wasn't the case. And a great take and finish from C.J. Duff, one of the smallest guys on the court. Usually Webster, we would expect, we were expecting him to be the leading scorer for this team today, but pretty quiet with only three points. Copeland inside with the left hand, off the glass and in. So Clemson's coming off a loss when Nebraska goes to their place on Monday. Nice pass down low to a wide open Gilbeck who slams it in. Monday trip to Clemson. West Illinois will fall to two and four. Shot up from Otis Dorch is no good. And that'll do it. That is the final score. Nebraska 73, Western Illinois 49.